think I need to make a happy place in my head. Which I always thought was such a stupid concept. It's like one of those self-help things that you hear about. And most self-help things sound so stupid and make-believe. And they did to me a few years ago when I heard these things. And I never wanted to use a method that I hadn't come up with because it felt like it just wasn't gonna work for me. And the idea of creating like a happy place in your head that you can just visualize whenever things get stressful, it's basically just a meditation. It's starting to make more and more sense to me as I have started to learn to meditate actually uh, and I'm realizing that I don't have any good coping mechanisms or like skills in my toolbox again fucking word um, that could help me in situations like that and it's beginning to get really frustrating because venting after the fact only does so much and usually you feel so much worse when you finally do get to vent because you um, were just holding it in for so long and um, I'm in kind of a weird place with one of my jobs right now. I don't want to say too much and a lot of it's like my own issues but um, regardless of why um, I find myself um, feeling anxious there a lot and It, it's beginning to take over my life because I can now anticipate it and um, I thought that maybe it would go away once the job wasn't new anymore but it kind of hasn't and it, it makes me think that maybe my gut was telling me the right thing about it in the beginning um, but I'm not very good at trusting my gut. You know, I always am like, let me just make sure. Because, which is, which is fair, because sometimes it leads me in the wrong direction or sometimes it, my gut, like my gut feelings are rooted in like trauma. And so they sometimes will tell me the wrong thing and sometimes I don't want to trust that immediately because I feel like I would act a lot more impulsively if I did every single time. So, um, anyway, uh, I can, I sort of begin to anticipate the feeling of being anxious and it makes me more anxious because I don't feel like I have a way out. And so I was talking to my boyfriend and was trying to get him to help me brainstorm things that I could do and tactics I could use when I started feeling like that um, rather than just trying to overall change my mindset which I'm try also trying to do um, and I just thought of creating a happy place in your head and I have a good idea of what it could, what it would be. It would be somewhere like in the forest near water and trees and it would be damp and kind of wet in the forest and there would be a cabin with like glowing light, maybe candles inside. Oh, I could, and it, it would be so good. Um, and so I think I'm just gonna try that and see if it works. I was gonna write down, um, what I've been visualizing. Um, 
maybe I'll try to visualize it first and like see what comes up and then try to write it down. Um, I'm also gonna try and get in the habit of keeping like a, whenever I feel like I need it, keeping a, a log of how I'm feeling. Like whenever I feel the urge to write something, if something comes up, I wanna write down like what I'm feeling. Hopefully it'll make me more present and make me ignore any like stressful feelings that come up because when I do that they become so much worse and then um yeah so I'm gonna try and do both of those things um it's really frustrating though The most frustrating part for me is feeling like like I just start to feel really bad for myself because I just know that like I could be doing more or being more. Okay, I don't want to say like doing more and being more because I don't mean like going out and having a career and being successful. I just mean like I just I sometimes feel sorry for myself and that's a, some, a place that I get into that feels really terrible um, because I just feel like this doesn't feel like me like I don't want this I don't want to feel anxious and I can see how my life would be and who I would be and how much like sort of gentler and more present and less like disassociated I would be if I didn't have this. And sometimes it feels like a lot of issues that I have in my life and issues that I have with people come from feeling like chronically stressed and chronically anxious and not um, having a very good way of dealing with it. Like it sucks because you, in, in one sense you feel like a victim and in another sense you feel like you're causing the problems you know like it's especially me because I I'm not someone who when I feel like when I feel bad I don't usually it takes a lot for me to get to like a really vulnerable place like I'm not gonna be crying and opening up to you I'm gonna get really close like sh closed off and shut down and irritated and angry um, because I'm so hyper self-aware that I know how I'm acting and I'm mad about it and I'm like it makes me feel really defensive I don't <laughs> like I don't want to feel this way I don't want anyone to talk to me about how I'm acting how I probably seem weird I just like I get hyper um, so I think that's harder for people to understand and harder to be around and harder to be empathetic towards because it just comes off um, cold or like aggressive or whatever and so that makes it worse too it um, it's like a lot easier to be empathetic to people that are like visibly shaking and crying and are showing weakness but I don't really show weakness um, that to me would make me more anxious although ironically I'm sure it wouldn't I'm sure it would probably make me feel better but it's just not something that I usually um, do I if I I do that only with like whoever I'm very comfortable with so I'll break down in front of my boyfriend but even that can take me a lot to get toward to get to so um, like even with the closest person to me it will take a lot for me to get to that place just because I'm so used to not and I have such an aversion to it and it just feels like unsafe it doesn't feel you know good to go get to that place because sometimes you don't know how people are gonna react and even though I logically know that my boyfriend would be very supportive and wouldn't isolate me, there's a part of me that feels like he wouldn't totally understand and that um, I, I'm worried that that would make me spiral more if I were to open up, you know? So um, it's very annoying, <laughs> very complicated, sh boring, um, irritating shit. And the days when I feel good are like the best days. So that's what's, anno what's annoying is that 
um, going in and out. I mean, I'm so glad that I go in and out because then I at least know that I'm like, this isn't um, like, this isn't me. This isn't only who I am. So at least I get the opportunity to like see what things are like when they're good and they're really good. I feel just, I feel light. I feel pr productive. I feel like intuitive, like empathetic. I feel understanding. I, I feel all of these things because I'm not like carrying and fighting whatever shit is happening inside of me. It's crazy what those feelings can really do to your like outlook on life and your personality with um, you just have like so much less to give when you're um, fighting this like tense feeling inside you all the time. It sucks. It fucking sucks. Um, so yeah. Oh, okay. It says, a lot of y'all wish you could be yourselves, and it shows in the way you police others' agency. And... Okay, and someone didn't understand the tweet. So someone says she means that people who try to force certain societal norms on others are also people who won't be their true selves due to fear of scrutiny and rejection. And I feel like I do this to an ex like a certain extent, but <clears throat> mostly just because certain people really irritate me. And I kind of, in a way, I feel like that is something a little bit different. I think, um, <clears throat> I think that it's fine if certain people, um, irritate you for whatever reason. Like, I have a really big issue with people, like, being too much too fast or being too in my space or like being too loud or too talkative or too too much that it just makes me feel smaller <clears throat> um, and I really resent people for who do that to me um, I guess that's kind of the same thing but also like me and my me and my boyfriend um, shit talk like general groups of people a lot and sometimes I feel like uh, me and my boyfriend both have that issue um cause like I, I have a I really don't like being in public for the most part um that's where I feel like I can't be myself it's where I feel like the most scared to be myself um, because I am scared that exact that yes I'm gonna be like scrutinized or rejected or or that I'm gonna get into some kind of like altercation with someone if I was my true self because I am um, aggressive in private 
like extremely um and opinionated and but in public like at work and when I'm first meeting people I'm the complete opposite and um it kind of it kind of bothers me a lot I mean maybe that's why I don't like people who are overly aggressive from the get-go because I'm like no 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 like that part of me is not um, here yet so I'm not ready for this um, but I also just I appreciate a certain level of like slowness and like kind of tiptoe in this when it when I'm meeting people for the first time it just it feels more respectful so I usually get along with people who do that for me more they don't like force me into confrontations or 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 something really quickly um, <laughs> but I guess none of none of that's like really that bad but I would like to to figure out how to integrate my like outer and inner selves more because I mean I'm not saying I have to like go around being the same person I am in private but because a lot of people don't do that and um, it's kind of fun to when people are a little more complex than that but there's part of it that bothers me um, and I guess that since it bothers me that's enough of a reason to want to change it but I'm just not sure how uh, because I don't know I feel like um, I do try to change that sometimes, but every time I feel like I'm getting close, there's just something in my body that stops me from being like as truthful or as um, genuine as maybe I'm craving to be because I'm concerned that if I just let like little bits and pieces out that that won't be enough to like back up whatever I'm saying I don't know if that makes sense but like if I'm if I'm in a comfortable situation and um, you know I'm having like a comfortable debate with someone or I retort with like a, an honest opinion or <clears throat> or I or I um, contradict something someone says or I which happens a lot I don't agree, I, I um, don't agree with like most things initially um, I'm scared that I'm gonna just like say an opposite opinion or say an opinion and then when they come back at me maybe they come back at me and are like fighting back that I'm gonna just crumble and be like oh no no like and not be prepared to like keep that energy going which is also what happens like it'll just come out in little ways and then I'll like back down because I'm I I'm not told I'm still not totally comfortable so I don't really know how to um, balance this out because it happens it happens a lot like I, I it takes a lot for me to be really comfortable in a situation and I um, you know in a lot of ways I feel like I need uh, permission from people in order to be comfortable like I or not per permission but like reassurance and I guess a little bit of permission like um, I have to feel like I'm allowed to like have all this space and that it's gonna be fine I'm not gonna be rejected for it so there's there's that tweet coming in again it's like a fear of being scrutinized and rejected 
Um, I don't know how to get over that really on my own. I just usually will look for situations that don't make me feel like that, which often only comes after you are really comfortable with someone or you've been in the situation for a while and you know how it goes or you know you've been made to feel like you're not going to be scrutinized and rejected and then you can come out of your shell and i i feel like what people are saying is that you have to like not care about the scrutiny and rejection and you just have to be willing to be misunderstood a lot but that that scares me. I guess I'm more willing to be misunderstood when I'm with someone who I know is committed to understanding me. If I don't feel like, if I feel like it's going to be a dead end, I just don't even, I usually don't even want to try it. I don't know, that's just like in my nature. Um, but part some that kind of feels a little weak and like stupid, doesn't it? I thought this would look cooler, but it kind of is just making my face look it's very strange. Oh, now it's going away. It's got three. Okay, it's got three legs. Look at this little guy. Turned around, doesn't He's got so many little legs. Wow, these are really pretty. Wow. I feel like it makes way more sense than the These are so pretty too. 